How's everybody doing? Welcome to Struck a Chord Firewood. Uh, I'm just lucky enough to get two of these IBC totes. Uh, they're very handy for firewood, and I'm going to show you how we prep them all out, or at least how I prep them out, uh, for being able to load and uh, handle firewood. All right, the first thing we got to do is take out this 250-gallon um, tote uh, container thing. So, T40, we'll do it. Do these two because this is what holds the container in. And as you guys can see, they go right through the top of the container, and that's what holds the top of the container in and keeps its shape. So, we're going to remove all four of these. Okay, now that I got all four of these, that frees these up. Okay, real simple as you're going to do is turn them. Pull them out of the tote. You'll see here, it's got a little bit of plastic, but with a little persuasion, it should come. Let me put this camera down so I can fuck with it. Yeah, I'll keep this there. All right, that's out. Put that by the side. I will be using that again. Same thing here. This one came out pretty easy. So you have four bolts. So now the tote's on its side. You can see it. Should be able to and this is what I want. So you guys remember these spreader bars down here? So what I like to do and again, you don't really have to, but I do it anyway. When I cut this, I'm going to cut this down where we remove these. This is where the original two were. So I'm going to cut it down here. Right? Right down that bar. Right down here. And then what I'll do is I'll re-drill holes here. And I'll put the spreader bars in over here to help add some rigidity for the stuff I took out. So you'll see that in a second. Next, you want to get yourself a grinder with a cut wheel, obviously some eye protection. We're going to come cut this down, cut this down, and cut this one down. And then right across these couple, okay? This is a taller one, a taller IBC tote, so. water in it. So 
Okay, now I'm gonna touch it up with the grinder. So I got a grinding wheel on my grinder. Just taking down any sharp edges. And again, it's just to limit the amount of uh, chances that my kids are going to get cut going in here. Normally, they have welding gloves on when they're going in here, but just in case, I kind of bang the edges down a little bit. Next thing, I'm going to re-drill these holes for my spreader bars. I'm going to come over here to the opposite side. Maybe I'll have to do a little persuasion, but that will allow this to go back in here. And they're already pre-threaded, so I'll start this one here. And all that's basically doing is allowing the metal that I took out, okay, to stiffen this up a little bit. Do I need them? Probably not. But I do notice that a lot of times they stack these on top of each other. I don't, but people do um, when they have the totes in them. So what that allows is you, these metal bars allow them that you can stack on top of each other and they can handle tons of weight because you got to figure 250 gallons times about 8.8 .8 pounds per gallon if it's water. Uh, it's a lot of weight. All right, you're over 1,600 pounds, so... Um, they can handle some weight. So I just put these things back and then uh, tighten them up. So that's what I'll do now. Okay, so I got one of the spreaders in, just like that. And that helps stiffen up this area here. Okay, now I'm gonna drill the other one out and get that one in too. I did have to give it a little bit of taps, a couple taps here with the furniture hammer, but it went right in. You can use a regular hammer, use whatever you have. A rock, it doesn't matter. to get this front one started first. I don't have to crank it tight, but I like to get it started first. So I'll put this out through here. You guys that do firewood and use totes, let me know in the comment section what you guys do. Uh, maybe you guys got a better system, but this has been working for me for a few years, so. I'm not against the new system. I'll be happy to uh, try another one out. That's my hammer. Okay, 
We're almost ready for some firewood. All right, the measurements of this container are 46 and a half inside by 38. And it is 48 and a half tall off of your metal skid. That's quite a bit of wood. Uh, you can stack it in neat if you'd want, or you can actually do what I do, which is the lazy man's way, and I just throw it in. And then I bring my forks in here and I load it up. But anyway, that's how I prepare an IBC tote for firewood. Um, like and subscribe to this channel. I'd appreciate it.